What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Big Cartier, and we back with another banger. As always, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, man. Today, I will be bringing you my top five best loadouts in Warzone. After the Season 1 update, man, I'm telling you, these will be my top five loadouts. I recommend that you guys use them because they are nice and just... They they all have great damage and everything, bro. I'm telling you, you'll be dropping more kills if you use these exact setups, man. We're on the road to 300 subscribers on YouTube. So if y'all can, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Share this to everyone. Let everyone know about me. I'm just a crack player, man. I go crazy. You already know, man, from previous videos. And we just do everything, man. Warzone, multiplayer. I even do other stuff. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. You know, that's a surprise. But not even going to talk too much. I'm just going to get straight into the class setups. So let's get in right into it. So coming in at number one, I will be showcasing the Automaton Ghost class. Now, obviously with this class, you can change out Ghost and you can put on any uh, secondary that you would like. And I'm going to go through and give you four other secondaries that you could use. But I really wanted to showcase this special class. And I'm going to tell you why right now. So, we have the Automaton. As you know, this gun is an absolute slapper. This is like an all-around gun. You could really use this from the medium to short range, as long as you finesse a little. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you the class setup with this. We have the MX Silencer. This gives sound suppression and accuracy, so you can get more kills and everything. Bro, I'm telling you, stay more accurate in the sound suppression, so you can have that stealthy in it. Then we have the... Anastasia sniper barrel for bullet velocity and range and accuracy. You need those that bullet velocity to to have those speed of bullets hit the targets faster and have that that increased range. And then we also have accuracy so we can stay more accurate on our targets, especially in them long range gunfights. Next, we have the M1941 hand stop. We have this for recoil control and accuracy. You know, like I said, we got to keep the gun control you know what i'm saying keep that recoil under a bare minimum and stay accurate then we have the 6.5 millimeter secure 75 round drum this is our normal magazine but extended as you can see you see the little the little double uh on the gun the double magazine that's our 75 round drum this is Warzone, takes more health than multiplayer, so I highly recommend that you use this because you will be taking more bullets to down enemies, especially when there's more than at least two. We have the lengthened ammo type for bullet velocity. Like I said, you want those bullets to hit our targets faster. Then we have polymer grip. This may be the best grip for guns, especially to, to stay steady and keep in those long, runs, long range fights. We have flinch resistance. And accuracy and recoil during sustained fire, meaning that you stay accurate during those shots when people are shooting at you and you're shooting back and it's just constant fire. Then we have the G16 2.5X optic. Now, this it keeps accurate and it, we have recoil control. You know, we got to stay accurate and, and control our recoil. Then we have the Zack Skeletal stock. For aim, walking, movement speed, aim, walking, steadiness, and initial firing recoil. And then we have tight grip. Also for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. Increases accuracy while continuously firing. I'm telling you, this is the best. These two attachments alone make this gun absolutely crazy, man. And then we have fully loaded. So we spawn in with all our ammo. So that's our primary for that class setup. Then we have the top break. Uh, I'm not going to really explain too much, but we have the F8 stabilizer. We have the Wookiee W4 stub. This is for damage range, bullet penetration, and bullet velocity. It's just, it's ba it basically makes this, um, the range on this pistol better. Then we have hair trigger, fire rate, hit fire accuracy, and spread to fire speed. You want that increased fire rate with these because this is the snake shots 100 snake shots as you see right here we have this that has damage bullet velocity and range and bullet print penetration so it's going to make our bullet stronger especially when we equip it with the m15 shot shell this gives us that 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 snake shot effect that that shotgun effect that that's what helps us get that 
Then we have the Pine Tar Grip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy. And then we have a Kimbo to hip fire two weapons and fully loaded. Or you can switch out to quick if you want or on hand. Either way, I'm just giving you options here. But that's how we do it. Then we got Cold Blooded Ghost Combat Scout Thorn Knife Stem Side. That will be the last time I tell you the perks because every other class setup will have the exact same. Except for Ghost. They will have Overkill for my guns that has two weapons. So let's get into the next class setup. We have the Bar PPSH. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through and give you my bar class. We have the MX Silencer for sound suppression and accuracy. Like I said, you know, keep... Keep that, keep the gun accurate, especially with a gun like this. It shoots slow, but has uh, um, a high to a moderate to high recoil. But with this setup, I promise you, there's none. And I'm gonna show you after this game. Now, we have the CGC 30 inch XL barrel, and uh, this gives us recoil control and accuracy, reduced scope sway and gun bob, and flinch resistance. Then we have the M1930 Strife Angle uh, Under Barrel. This gives us accuracy, aim and stability, and aim walking steadiness. We have the .50 BMG 40 round mag. This gives us bullet velocity and range. Like I said, keep those get hit those targets faster and that increased range. Then we have extra damage. This is crazy. If you ever seen someone use the bar in Vanguard, you know that this gun is a guaranteed two shot. Then we have bullet penetration and magazine ammo capacity. Then we're running Linton as our ammo type for the increased bullet velocity. Then we have the SVT 40 PU scope. This uh, gives us accuracy and it's a, a zoom site. I promise you this, I love that site. From the G, the G, um, what's that site called? The G16 and that site, I love both of them. Then as our stock, we have the pistol grip custom. Horizontal recoil control, aim down, sight speed. Now, I'm not going to lie. I got this class from J-God. Go check him out. He's a freaking dope content creator. And also, he helps everyone with class setups and just building the best class setups. So, I got this from him. So, I don't want to take any credit from that. But we also have the polymer grip for flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. And then we have the hard scope, accuracy, and and recoil and sustained ADS. So it's basically the same except for it's going to stay accurate even if you're not firing. So all you have to do is just ADS. Then we have, um, oh yeah, that's it. Then we have fully loaded as our perk two. So that's what we're running for that class setup right there. And then we're also having the PPSH. We have the FA stabilizer for accuracy and damage range. We have the Empress 140 millimeter rapid barrel. And that increases the fire rate. We have the Carver foregrip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy. We have the 762 millimeter Garinko 70 round mag. This is an extended mag just of the base ammo, and it really helps us to get more kills, you know, more down those enemies. This gun absolutely melts. Then we have hollow points for the increased limb damage. Then we have stipple grip as our tape. I'm go not gonna lie, you can actually really run the polymer grip on this one as well. Because that having that uh, accuracy and recoil during sustained fire for a weapon like this that shoot extremely fast is very well needed. Then we run a slate reflector as our optic, but you can also just run iron sights. I haven't really tested any scope other than that for this gun, so that's what I'm just going to be running on that. And then we have the remove stock. For hip fire accuracy, movement speed, and sprint to fire speed, that extra movement speed is really, is really needed. Then we have fleet for weapon swap quickness and movement speed. Also, another plus, I'm telling you that movement speed. Plus, on top of that, you pair this up with quick and it's increased sprint speed. So now, not only do you have three attachments that help you move quick, but you're going to be moving quicker, especially in those gunfights when you're close range on your enemies and you got to finesse your way around. You're going to be moving like Flash. I'm telling you, man, this is crazy. And then, like I said, we, these are our perks and lethal and tactical. Now, let's get into the next class setup where we have the NZ-41 and the Cooper Carbine. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the NZ-41. We have the F8 Stabilizer for our, our muzzle accuracy and damage range. We have the Orb Weaver 360mm BC Barrel, highly accurate and controllable 
and Redoop Scope Sway and Gun Bob. So you just make sure that when you have a scope on this gun, this barrel helps it so that it doesn't sway a lot and the gun doesn't bob either. Then we have the M1930 Strife Angle for accuracy, aim and stability, and aim walking steadiness. We have the 303 British 30 round Faz Mag. Now I like this magazine because it actually keeps our damage instead of using these which takes away but these aren't bad as either but this one just keeps that damage and it's it's just it's a hard hitter and on top of that you really don't really sacrifice anything but ads speed but you also get that reload quickness with this magazine as well then we have lengthen as our ammo type for that increased bullet velocity you already know to hit our targets faster then we're using an m38 slash slate 2.5x custom optic Accuracy and recoil control. So it's basically like a like a like a reflex and a scout type of like like a hybrid basically. And so say when you're close range and say you have to hurry up and you this the only gun that's out. So you just would switch to the second optic that's on top, which would, it looks like the slate reflector, and you can you know gun your enemies with that with that low zoom optic. Then we have polymer grip for flinch resistance, accuracy, and recoil during sustained fire. You already know that helps us stay on target while we're constantly shooting our gun. And we have the Orb Weaver E-Pack for recoil control, recoil recovery, accuracy, and flinch resistance. Everything to help make this gun uh, accurate and controllable. Then we have Brace for our perk, initial fire recoil. I'm telling you, those first like five to seven bullets on this gun, when you shoot, literally have no recoil, bro. It's just when you start shooting after that, it kind of bobs and, and, and weave, weave, weave. You know what I'm saying? Just bobs and weave a little bit. So, you know, we just got that on there like that. And then we're using fully loaded as our perk for extended ammo. And then let me get into the Cooper Carbine. Now, this gun here is a different breed. And I'm going to just go ahead and get into the attachment set. I'm not going to waste any time. So, we have the recoil booster for fire rate. Okay, fire rate. So, we have the Cooper Custom for highly accurate and controllable, reduced scope sway and gun bob. And guess what? Fire rate. Okay. Now we have the M3 ready grip for aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, aim walking movement speed. All right. So now we're using the 9 millimeter 60 round drum for what? Recoil control and accuracy, fire rate, aim down sight speed, and magazine ammo capacity. And I guess you can know where I'm going with this one. We have the compressed rounds for even more fire rate. Now you're thinking, it's a lot of fire rate on that weapon. Is it going to just shoot everywhere? No. This gun literally has no recoil. Even if you put on this barrel, it's still still doesn't have any recoil but adding this you can use it better at those medium to long range gunfights if you had to example if it's just your bounce back class and like you made a ghost class with this and you could really use this for a medium to long range fight depending on how how long range it is you can't just beam kids across the mountains but you know having this wouldn't be bad versus if you had this one which wouldn't really benefit you that much from the medium to long range, but having the 14 inch Gracie rapid bro does shred people up close. I'm telling you, it's it's just, it's just crazy, bro. This is actually a dope weapon. And then we're using slate reflector as our optic. We have polymer grip for flinch resistance accuracy during uh, sustained fire. Also, was told that you could go with the take grip for aim stability and weapon swap quickness, but that's just a preference if you're not running amp. I don't run amp, but I honestly don't need that either. I'm not tripping. I, hey, I still outgun people and outmove on people and everything. And then we're using the remove stock for movement speed, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, everything to help with mobility. So that movement speed to move faster, uh, the sprint to fire speed for when you're uh, on the run or whatever and you got to uh, pull up your weapon and, and shoot. It won't take long to uh, from when you're sprinting to fire. And then ADS speed, you know, the ADS and uh, get on get on target faster, you know. And then we're running Vital as our perk for increased torso damage. Now, I was told that this doesn't make that big of a difference. But in my opinion, I feel that if you run Vital, it could help in certain situations. And I like using it. But you could also use Tight Grip if you wanted to or even Fleet. But uh, Fleet just increases the movement speed. And it's it's still nice. But having that tight grip will help with the accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. And you already know what that does. Helps us stay on target when we're shooting. Especially with a weapon like this that shoots extremely fast. And then we have On Hand as our perk 2 for equipment dexterity. Just getting those equipments off faster. 
And then we're almost done here. So now we got the STG44. We're using the MX silencer for uh, sound suppression and accuracy. The VDD 760mm 05B barrel, highly accurate and controllable, reduced scope sway and gun bob, and damage range. The M1941 hand stop for recoil control and accuracy. The 8mm Curve 60 round drum. You notice this is our extended mag. And we're using lengthen for our ammo type for the extended bullet velocity. The G16 2.5X optic accuracy and recoil control. You already know just to say more accurate and control our recoil. The polymer grip, you already know what that does. Flinch resistance, accuracy, and recoil during sustained fire. The VDD 34S weighted stock, accuracy, flinch resistance, recoil control, and aim and stability. This gun is crazy, I'm telling you. With these attachment setups, the SCG is just how we know in Vanguard. Like, it's literally just unstoppable, especially when you pair it up with Vital. Increased torso damage, and Vital really makes a difference in weapons like this. Also, add fully loaded, and we're in the bag. And now, this here is something I want to talk about real quick. This is just cheating. I'm just, I'm just come out and say it. This is cheating. We have the MP40 here. So we have recoil booster with fire rate. We have the Krosnik 317 millimeter 04B barrel, highly accurate and controllable, reduced skull sway and gun bob. M1941 hand stop. This gives us uh, recoil control and accuracy. We have the 8mm Curse 40 round mag. Now, okay, look, check me out. Bullet velocity and range, bullet penetration, and damage, right? It increases our damage. You know, it, it basically increases everything to do with damage, range, bullet velocity, all that bullet penetration, anything, you know, just making the gun stronger. So then we have hollow point for increased limb damage, okay? <clears throat> We have Slate Reflector, it's just our optic polymer grip for that flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. <clears throat> Remove stock. We have Vital. And hey, you're thinking like, wait, the MP40 has Vital. Yes, the MP40 has Vital. So let me go ahead and show you. The MP40 has Vital because of this reason. This right here. This Freaking, um, what do you call this? What do you call this? What do you call this? <laughs> this blueprint gives us vital. Vital, it doesn't come on an MP40, but using this blueprint, you really, you get it. And it actually works. I don't know if this is a bug in the game, but this actually gives us vital on an MP40, which is not needed, but it's crazy that we have it. And then we got quick as our perk two for sprint speed and a remove stock for hit fire accuracy and movement speed. So we have that movement speed and we stay quick and on target. Last but not least, here is a sleeper that not a lot of people know about. Both of these guns. I know a lot of people maybe tried them maybe, but this is my setup for you. So we have the Bryn LMG. Now we have Mercury Silencer for sound suppression and recoil control. We have the Queen's 775M Scepter Barrel, Recoil Control and Accuracy, Reduced Scope Swing and Gun Bob, Flinch Resistance, the SVT 40 PU Scope, you know, it gives us, it gives us that accuracy and, you know, it's just a variable zoom scope. I really love that sight a lot. We have the Oaken Shield 12B Stock for Horizontal Recoil Control and Aim Down Sight Speed. We have the Carver foregrip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy. We have the .303 British 100 round drum. You know, just our extended magazine just to mow down our enemies more. Then we're using lengthen as our ammo type for an increased bullet velocity. We have polymer grip for flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. We're using tight grip for the exact same reason, accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. And fully loaded. And last but not least, a gun that is very dear to me, if anyone hasn't already known. We have the M1912, or better yet known as the M1948 in Vanguard. This SMG is, this is by far just my favorite gun in the game. Just overall, bro. Like, this is just a gun that is very dear to me. Like, it's really just a great weapon overall. So, this is the last gun I'm going to give to you, and I'm going to show you the setup. So, we have Mercury Silencer for sound suppression and recoil control. We have the CGC 12-inch cooling barrel, highly accurate and controllable, reduced scope sway and gun bob. 
the M1941 hand stop, recoil control, and accuracy. We have the 8mm Kurz 100 round drum. This, a lot of people may disagree with me of using a 100 round drum, but why is, imagine a four, a four stack pull up on you, and you're in a great situation where you can take out that four stack, but using the 50 round drum, you would have to reload versus this 100 round you can still mow down all four of your enemies and take them out. You know, I would rather use that instead. But uh, you don't have to. And you can also use this one instead. But I just like having that damage. And I know how to control this weapon a lot. It doesn't have any really bad recoil at all. So it's very controllable. And it'll help you get more kills. We have hollow point as our ammunition type for the limb damage. We have the polymer grip for flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. Slate reflector. The CGC wire grip. Aim walking movement speed. Aim walking steadiness. Aim down sight speed and initial firing recoil. And then we're using frenzy. Now frenzy is health regeneration after kills. It basically works like quick fix. So if you're using this weapon, it's kind of no point in running quick fix, especially when you're in a lot of uh, close range gunfights because your health will regenerate after getting kills with this weapon. And also I'm using quick for that increased sprint speed. Now guys, I'm glad if you made it to the end of the video, appreciate it. Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those notifications. We're grinding live stream every day on Twitch. Link will be in the description. And those are my top five setups, man. If you need anything else, just hit my DM on Twitter. Link will be in the description. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.